Hey, here's some cash to help teach the Gem State's youngest students. Ah, no thanks. Social justice, race theory and all. Wait, you don't want nearly six million dollars because you think toddlers are being taught to be anti-American? Yeah, I know. That's what happened last month in Idaho's House of Representatives. Lawmakers turned down a six million dollar grant to fund early childhood education programs across the state. That grant had already been awarded to Idaho. All it needed was lawmakers to sign off on it. That's it. But politics complicated what could have been a simple approval. Some lawmakers were convinced the money would go toward lessons of social justice and critical race theory for three and four year olds. Supporters of the federal grant explained several times that this was not the case, but it wasn't enough to convince the majority. Well, now the sponsors of the legislation say they are trying once again to get the grant approved. Joe Paris has details on their battle to clear up what they say is misinformation about the entire situation. We as a legislature really must invest in the future of Idaho because that return on the investment and the rewards, that'll pay dividends for decades and centuries to come. With that in mind, Republican Representative Laura Likely is co-sponsoring an effort to have Idaho lawmakers approve a $6 million federal grant to support early childhood education in Idaho. The Trump administration awarded the grant to the state. The Idaho Association for the Education of Young Children and the State Board of Education were set to oversee and invest that money into early childhood education efforts across Idaho. Now, the grant was up for a vote in early March, but some Republican lawmakers, they pushed against it because of the state's partnership with the Idaho AEYC, a group some Republicans say is working with community partners to push an agenda with the grant. You're voting for social justice ideology to be given through grant money to our little ones. The goal in the long run is to be able to take our children from birth and to be able to start indoctrinating them and, and teaching them to be activists. Supporters of the grant say that it is simply not what this is about, and the collection of buzzwords being pushed by lobbyists and lawmakers against it aren't a part of this. Our social justice theory, critical race theory, and gender identity. And I, I did what I noticed was not a single individual that works on this grant made any mention of those terms. But what I did hear was uh, preparing uh, to be effective readers, uh, kindergarten preparedness, uh, working with families, working with community. And so I think that's the real focus of the grant. Republican Representative Paul Amador says that the grant money is specifically allocated for community programs like early learning campaigns, reading development, and early childhood education outreach programs. All programs and initiatives are laid out in the grant proposal by Idaho AEYC. Amador says this is about bolstering Idaho education, not pushing any political agendas. That's not at all the focus of this grant. This is this grant is to, to help children get ready for kindergarten, it's to help families, it's to help communities, it's to help businesses in Idaho. And and I don't think there's an agenda here whatsoever that is connecting to those those things that are that are being said about this grant. Some lawmakers also expressed concern about oversight of the funds to make sure money is going where it's meant to under the proposal. Amador says that they thought it was important to address, so they added new language to legislation to approve the $6 million set to be presented when the legislature resumes. Sideboards we put in there were, were to provide a little bit more comfort, uh, if you will, to uh, uh, some of the, the legislators that were concerned with those issues to say, you know, you were going to have some, some reporting here that to ensure that, you know, the, the State Board of Education is, is supervising this grant and ensuring the dollars are spent how they were were intended to be spent, and then also to ensure uh, that that no curriculum would would be dictated uh, down to uh, those individual collaboratives. Amador and Likely say that they believe the grant provides an important opportunity for Idaho education, and they're working with lawmakers to present why that's the case. Certainly, we're doing our due diligence and and trying to make sure uh, individuals and legislators are comfortable with with what's included in in the upcoming bill. I, th I think it's going to reap significant benefits, uh, not only to get those kiddos ready to uh, to read by the third grade, but they're going to be ready to go to kindergarten with some of those basic fundamental skills. All right, Joe, when we first talked about how this bail bill first failed last month. We talked about Democratic Representative John McCrosty voting against it, actually, even though he wanted to vote for it, with a chance of hopefully reconsidering this bill, which never happened. So. How is this, I mean, considering it's technically dead, how are they reviving this? 
So this is actually going to be a new RS that will be directly uh, presented on the House or Senate floor because it was an appropriation bill that was already signed off by the Joint Finance and Appropriation Committee. So it essentially will be a new bill. As you heard uh, Representative Amador talk about, there are some new sideboards within it. So while it is essentially the same idea, there will be a few different language items that allows it to be re-brought up as a new bill. All right, we'll see if this gets twisted again, but likely not. We'll see how it plays out. Thanks, Joe.